What's up, YouTubers? This is Brad with Tough Tool Reviews. First, before we even get to this, oh, wasp! That son of a bitch better stay right there. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna. We'll be right. Okay, back. we're back. I don't know where the hell that damn thing went. He went to the other side of the shop in the wood. I thought I just heard him. That's all right. If he comes back, I'm prepared. Uh, man, that just threw me all off. Let's see, what are we talking about? We're talking about channel locks. Or, that's not channel locks. Channel locks is a brand. It's water pump pliers, which that sounds stupid. I guess I'll accept tongue and groove pliers more than anything, but to me, they're all channel locks. Freaking wasp. He keeps buzzing, man. He keeps buzzing every time I talk. I think he's stuck somewhere. Better stay back there. <sighs> so a little bit about me. Don't like wasps. Don't like furry spiders. So back to the tools. We got Klein, we got Doyle, we got Pittsburgh, we got Stanley, we got Channel Lock, we got No Name, Knipex, Rebrands, or probably more than likely Knockoffs, Ripoffs, and Cobalt. I'll be back. Alright, I've impaired his ability to fly. Mm -hmm. Covering him with mold and mildew remover. Now he was just kicking. Just kicking. Oh man, I need another tool. Which these are great, by the way. We're about to finish him off. Now we've got to mechanically. Oh yeah, there was a crunch. He's over with. Back to the review. All right, guys. Now that we're safe, now that we're we've taken care of that 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 son of a bitch wasp. Oh, he just got me all riled up, pissed off right before I got to review these things. I mean, I felt like my life was threatened. I felt in danger. But I guess, I mean, I mean, I guess the Lord works in mysterious ways because I finally found a good use for these. These Pittsburgh, whatever they're, they're supposed to be, tongue, tongue groove channel locks, these are just trash, man. And I'm a Harbor Freight guy. I'll go there, especially, especially for tools at home, and I'll stand up for them all day. But these... Man, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. These things are just complete and utter garbage. And I really got them because I didn't have very many V-grooves, which they come in. V-groove pliers do come in handy a lot. But they got, I mean, it's not even the plastic. It's that felty kind of handle on them. And they don't slide worth a shit. And, and they're just garbage, man. So let's just get rid of them. Don't buy Pittsburgh pliers. What else? These. I mean, look at it. I'm a six foot three dude. 230, 240. Look how far my hand is. How am I supposed to grip on those, man? Ugh. These are Stanley's, by the way. And they're not quite a V-groove. They're not quite uh, the flat teeth one. I don't know what to call it. The flat ones. But this is why I hate them. Right there. Why didn't I see that when I bought these, you say? I didn't buy them. They were given to me. And I see why they were given to me. Because they're trash. I, the only reason I keep them, this is my most hated pair of pliers. I hate the, no, 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 no. Those Pittsburgh are my most hated pliers. Because they would be good, except for a few minor things. I guess they're major if I hate them that much. I'm not even making sense now. Back to these 
shitty Stanleys. I only keep them in a wrap electrical tape here in case I really have to bear down or try to grip something uh, and I don't want the teeth marring up a surface. That's the only reason I keep them here. Because otherwise, I mean, what the hell do I want to grip down on something that far apart or that wide? I mean, the only way to make them work is to make them bigger than what you need to grip and then just use the very tip. <laughs> And I know we like to tell people we're just going to use the tip, but come on guys, we all know we're not. It never stops there. You always need a little more. So let's get to the ones I do like. These are my home game pliers that I love. If I'm going to, if I have a job, these are the pliers I'm going to go to. Uh, let's just go in order here. These are actually Kleins. I've had these pliers for over 10 years. And they're still going strong, man. They're smooth to open up and close. Funny story on these Kleins. I didn't know they were actually Kleins until about a week ago. I saw somebody with a pair of these Klein channel locks. I said, man, I got a pair that are yellow handled. I never knew what brand they were. Because, uh, again, these were given to me at a job I worked. I worked there over a year. I uh, got my first gig as an electrical apprentice, and this was just a general maintenance job at a golf course. My boss man let me take my bag of tools with me because I had been there for over a year, and that was the deal. I know, kind of weird, but I didn't have very many tools then. But these, I took the wire brush to them, and lo and behold... There's that little symbol I saw. Klein tools. So, the teeth on these have held up great. They have a nice wide jaw capacity of a little over two and a quarter, like two and three eighths. They're heavy duty. I love them. They feel great in the hand. This plastic, which always wears out on channel lock pliers, has held up. No tears, no nicks. I mean, Klein did a hell of a job making these. If I was to complain about one thing about these, is this screw-on nut. I like them more when they have a rivet on both sides. Uh, I get the advantages of having a nut. One, they're cheaper to make that way. Two, if it starts getting really rusty or they're lost and you can't find them for a while, you can take it off, you can clean them up. And you can loosen them as loose or as tight as you want them to be. So it's not that big of a deal. It's just my personal preference. Let's move on to... Channel Locks Numero Dos. Yes, it's them. The Doyles. Man, they, they're, they're still going strong. Uh, they're smooth. They're clean because I use them at home. I take better tools to work. But for the home gamer, these are nice, man. These, if I can find the groove. I mean, Pittsburgh is for Harbor Freight. Thank God they got away from these. But there is a price difference. I mean, what, I think it's $4 or maybe even $8 for a two-pack of these. These are the 12-inch Doyles, uh, and I want to say, I don't know how much they were. I'll look them up. I want to say maybe 16, 17 bucks, but I'll pop it up how much they are, a little picture right there. Woo! Editing. Amazing. Uh, I've only had these for two months, maybe, and I have used them. I took them to work for a little bit just to actually find a place to use them. But they work great, man. They work great. I don't think the teeth are going to last like a pair of actual channel locks would. And they are pretty wide. You know, they're, they're a lot thicker right here. But the handles so far are good. They're smooth. I mean, if you're going to buy any pair of channel lock pliers at Harbor Freight, go with the duels. Stay away from them Pittsburghs. Next up on the list... 
is another pair of pliers I've had for a long time and everybody's favorite, the inventors, the reason these pliers are called channel locks. This is the channel lock brand. These are 10 inch. Uh, the teeth, outstanding. I've had these for at least seven or eight years. Uh, what can I say about them? They're channel lock. They made them. They perfected them. They're, they're, they'll, they'll last me forever. They, I have cleaned them up some. Because uh, they will tarnish and get that, that brown rust that we all know and love. The handles just got wore out. That's all there was to it. They just got wore out. Before I cleaned them up, they were all... The whole thing's kind of looked like that. But you know, they got retired to home. I wrapped them in electrical tape. And they still work. They still work fine. I can't remember what I paid for these, but I know somebody, and I've seen this comment a lot in threads. Well, if you're going to buy Doyles, why not? I mean, you can spend the same amount of money and actually get channel locks that are made in the USA. No, you can't. The facts aren't there. Uh, you can spend a little bit more money and get a pair of channel locks, yes. But if you're on a tight budget, sometimes $15 is a lot of money to you. I bought those because I wanted to see what they were like. And I'm very pleased. Yes, if I'm going to buy a pair of channel locks, most of the time... I'm going to go with channel lock. If, I mean, you know you're going to get a good pair. You know you're not going to have any issues with them. So, yes, I will spend the extra 10 or $15 to get an actual pair of channel locks. Some people ain't got that, man. This is an amazing alternative. They will not last. I guarantee these will not last as long as these. But sometimes you don't need that. At home, I'll probably have these two pairs of pliers for the rest of my life. In the work environment, I agree 100%. These are going to go before these will. Next up, still in the 10 inch. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I measure tooth capacity on these? I know these was like 2 and 3 eighths. This is like 2, mm, two and an eighth. Yeah. So the pliers win. We'll leave them open on that so far. But that's 12 inch for the 10 inch just under two inches and if i open them up just a little more they are two inches so i call that two inches so you got a 12 inch pair of pliers and a 10 inch pair of pliers and they got about the same jaw capacity these are also 10 inch And I got these at Tractor Supply. I got this one and his big brother, the 12 inch set. I also had the 16 inch version of these. These are a knockoff of the Knipex, or Nipex, or Nipex, or Nipexi, however you want to call it. And they might, I'll tell you what, the 16 inch ones have performed so well, I might just say they're a rebrand, except there's not a brand on them. And I don't have a pair of Nipex, Knipex to compare them with side by side. But these ones I haven't used too much, these 10 inch ones at home. But the 16s at work have performed amazing. They're still nice and thin. Uh, the teeth on them are, are nice. They're, they're cut pretty damn nice. We'll see if they last. They probably won't. But again, for the home gamer, these are good. Would I take these to work? Obviously not, because I left them here. But the 16-inch ones, the month I've had them at work, have done great. Now, granted, I'm an electrician. So the most, the hardest thing they see is grabbing onto a piece of rigid conduit and that's been up there for 20 years. And starting to unscrew it because all rigid is threaded. There's no no kind of couplings for it. Or the pressure couplings like residential and commercial. So these are great for the money. 
I mean, if I was in a pinch, I'd take them to work. But I wanted a pair to keep here. I like this sliding action. The big downfall of these, now remember these are both 10 inch, and this was 2 inches in jaw capacity. Going from flat to flat, because I don't want to count this, it wouldn't be fair. From flat to flat, these are just over inch and a quarter. So that is where they are lacking, big time, in comparison. Uh, 2 inches to an inch and a quarter, come on now. So that almost tells me these aren't rebranded Knipex now that I'm starting to think about it. Because I know the actual Knipex have a nice wide one. And then finally, I got these little 7 inch or 8 inch, whatever you want to call them. These are actually Cobalts. Covered them up. I used to have these at work. I took them back because I have another pair of small ones I use there. These are actually a Christmas present from the Big Boss Man uh, last year. They've held up okay. I don't like these handles, but again, that's just a preference. Uh, they're well built. I don't know how much they cost. I guess I'll pop up a thing. He got them in a set though. Teeth, average. So these are definitely not bad. I just didn't like the grips. So that's, that's a, I mean, if you like that comfort grip thing, which I do on a lot of other tools, but just not pliers or channel lines. All right, so you heard about them, you know about them. This is how I would rank them, right here. I like my channel locks. Everybody does. Channel lock is the way to go. You buy channel locks. They're made in the USA. They're made affordably. The average Joe can afford these, which is my whole argument. Why can't Snap-on do the same thing? They're quality, they're made in the USA, and they're not $300. <sighs> We're getting, I die. Let me just step back, digress. This isn't a snap-on hating video. I don't know how much these are, I'll pop it up, but I'm guessing they're probably 40, 50 bucks, in which case, go with the channel locks all day for these. But if you're a Klein fanboy, which there's a ton of them out there, these are definitely quality pliers. If you're on a budget, you can't afford the extra 15 bucks or so to buy channel locks go with these the doors at harbor freight definitely good for somebody on a budget these are cool if you just want the sliding action uh, i don't even know if tractor supply still sells them definitely of course knipex would probably be at the top or give them client or channel lock a run for their money these knockoff knipex not so much the jaw capacity just ain't there and then cobalt, I just don't like them that much. That's all there is to it. If you're a cobalt guy, I mean, there's nothing necessarily wrong with them. I just don't like them. And this is my channel. So I do what I want. All right, guys. Don't forget, if you haven't, check out the hashtag Marcos Tools videos for all the details on entering the contest. Now, let's just leave it. There. Hashtag Marcos Tools. Don't buy these. Don't buy these, Stanley's. And like my comment, like my comment. What a friggin' idiot. Like this video, make sure you comment, and then subscribe. Peace. All right, guys, just for those of y'all that were concerned, we're gonna, we're gonna go in and try to ex extract this creature. Oh, missed him. By the way, finally found a good use. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got him. Can he come through the hole, though? Let's see. Huh. There he is, fellas. I don't even want to put my hand up next to him. Focus at the beast. Look at that thing. Oh, he's going to come alive and sting me. Isn't that thing horrific? Let's get a look at the business end. Man, that close to dying. But he's got to learn. You don't come in my shed. Tell me what I'm going to do.
Later, guys. Safe and sound now.